Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I just got my BoxyCharm Premium and I thought I would share it with you. Now, I have already opened it up. I used some of the products inside to do my look for today. And um, never mind my yellow sweatshirt's back. It's been very cold here in Michigan and I, um, I need to stay cozy. Anyway, um, let's get down to business. BoxyCharm Premium, it is $35 a month and it is a companion to your base box subscription. You first have to um, subscribe to the base box and then you can upgrade to premium. You have to keep them both, I believe, for one month and then you can cancel your base box and just get the premium. Now you're supposed to get um, better items in the premium box than you do in the base box and you are supposed to get six items instead of five, which you do get six full-size items and you're guaranteed a value of $100 and $75 for your $35 investment. So let's move right along and we'll go right in and I will have a little video of myself doing my makeup with the products from the box hanging out above my head. I don't know which side yet. We'll just figure out which one it fits at best. Um, so here is the card this month and the theme is candy shop. So um, you have the opportunity to tag BoxyCharm at hashtag BoxyCandyShop for a chance to be featured. And on the back, it has a description and a price list of the items that are in your box. So let's dig in and show you what I got. Okay, the first thing I'm pulling out is my choice item for the month. And this is the... Kosa's Tinted Face Oil Foundation. It's a clean featherweight light coverage foundation and hydrating skin elixir with application that takes as little as 10 seconds. The breathable formula, even skin tone, minimizes pores and erases imperfections while supporting skin health. And I did use this today. I think it did a very good job of providing coverage. Um, the only mistake I made is that I usually put a little bit of uh, foundation underneath my eyes and this made my um, concealer and powder pull away and start to crease. So if you use this, don't put it under your eyes. Anyway, I did use a setting powder and it's just a nice light coverage. I did go in and over it a couple of times just to um, build up the coverage just a little bit. I have some maskne and um, it's been driving me nuts. I also have a little bit of hyperpigmentation that I like to um, cover up, but I don't mind a light coverage foundation. Now this is an oil and you can hear it in there shaking up. It's very, very liquidy and it comes out really quickly. So. Just start with a couple of drops and I used my beauty sponge and it blends right in. I got light zero one. I am incredibly fair and cool toned. So um, it's a seamless match to me. I blend it out perfectly. Um, I think I'm gonna like this a lot in the winter because now that I'm getting older, um, I have a tendency of getting dry skin, whereas when I was younger, my skin was very oily. So things are changing on me and I don't like it. But hopefully this will help keep my skin hydrated all day and that's why I chose it. Um, this is the Tinted Face Oil Foundation by Kosas. I got Light 01 and that has a retail value of $42. All right. You can't see my messy desk. The next item in the box that I'm pulling out, and it is the Illuminati Cosmetics um, Illuminati X Isa Eyeshadow Palette. Illuminati Cosmetics has collaborated with Isabel Bedoya for an ultra versatile palette. Create an evening glam look or the perfect daytime look. The shades range from, range from pastels to bright colors and neutrals. There's a look for every person. And that is the uh, retail price on that is $48, which that rivals the price of some of the Jeffree Star ones. Um, I did use a few of the colors in here and I'm not gonna lie, I struggled 
getting them to build up. Um, they're very pretty. The pastels are very pastel. And um, I don't know if it was the brushes I was using or what it was, but they didn't even want to stick to the brush. But let's go ahead and swatch. And you can see what they look like. Now I used the shades Rai Rai, Azul, Soul, and purple dream and this purple dream color is just it's very interesting it's almost oily but there you can see the colors and then from the top is 1996 sour rye rye purple haze and purple dream and that is a very very pastel um, this uh, purple dream it's really and I want to show you it's hard to get it to even show up, but it's very iridescent and it's almost oily. Um, I did, I do like the final look on my eyes. With the lipstick, I'm looking a little 80s though, so that was not intentional. I did have a really hard time getting the color Azul to build up on my eye, and I don't know if it was the brushes I was using. I was using brushes from my last month's box that were the um, Luna Magic, and um, it was like the colors just kind of fell right off of it. Okay, and then from the top we have Azul, Bye Girl, Addie, June 1st, and rose and azul I used in my inner and outer corners as well on my lower lash line and for the life of me I can't cover up my dark circles right now it's a combination of they just exist there and I have um, really bad allergies and I'm, I'm horribly allergic to dust there's like hair or something on me. Um, I'm horribly allergic to dust and we've been deep cleaning the house because we're getting ready to go on vacation. We're gonna have somebody stay here um, and we don't want him to stay in a mess. So um, my allergies are out of control and so are my dark circles. Okay, and from top to bottom, we have Trust, Izzy, Rich, Colombiana, and Soul. Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely will play around with this. I will, um, I will get some use out of it. I wanted to do kind of a lighter look today because I've been doing some deeper green smoky eyes lately and I just wanted to try something fun. But um, this is the Illuminati X Isa palette. And there are some very pretty colors. Just be prepared to build them up. All right, next thing that I used, and this is, I'm very, very pleased to get this. This is the Fenty Beauty, um, and it is Fenty Beauty Brow MVP Ultra Fine Brow Pencil and Styler, an ultra fine retractable brow pencil made for hair-like precision. Born in the groundbreaking range of 14 long wear, waterproof, smudge resistant shades, plus a built-in paddle brush for effortless blending and styling. Now that has a retail value of $20. I won't ever complain about getting anything from Fenty Beauty. I absolutely love Fenty. I love Rihanna. How do you not love Rihanna? She's like the cutest thing in the freaking world. And um, I got the shade um, Light Brown. I don't have my glasses on so I can't read so well. Um, and it is perfect for me because I may have um, incredibly blonde hair, um, but it isn't real. And it filled in my brows very nicely. And it's just got this adorable little brush. Different than a spoolie, definitely. And um, it did a great job. I am blessed with brows, so I don't really have to do a whole lot. Um, and then this is the color light brown. 
and then it goes perfectly. All right. The next item that I used, it is, it is the Laura Geller 50 Kisses Lip Locking Liquid Color. No more air kisses. Our pure pigment formula stays true with soft satiny color and stays put from morning from morning peck to midnight smooch. This uniquely curved um, applicator hugs lips for pre precise application. The built-in well delivers the perfect amount of color with each application, and this has a retail value of twenty-one dollars. Um, it's very matte but it does have kind of a uh, curved doe foot. Item in the box, and this is not something I've used because my face was already washed and prepped for the day. Um, and this is Murad's Hydrating Toner. An ultra hydrating alcohol free toner instantly balances skin's natural pH while lifting impurities to enhance the benefits of treatments that follow. Sodium PCA helps replenish lost moisture while chamomile and cucumber extracts smooth, soothe the skin. And this has an MSRP of $35. And our last item in the box is right here. It's the go-to skincare exfoliating swipeys. These single-use exfoliating pads soaked in an all-natural solution get rid of dead skin cells and hydrate the skin. The well-documented effectiveness of lactic acid, the most gentle of the AHAs, is combined with ultra-hydrating essential oil, oils, essential oils, to create a face exfoliator that thoroughly removes dead skin cells, refines skin texture, minimizes the appearance of fine lines, and deeply moisturizes. Um, all right, I'm not gonna open these up because I th think I might, I don't know. They may go into a giveaway, they may go into my backup stock, but I do have a couple of exfoliators that I'm working on right now and I've used the uh, Sunday Riley. Um, I use the Sunday Riley Luna Night Oil and then I use the um, Good Jeans Lactic Acid to help boost that during the day. So um, not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with this right now, but I don't wanna open it and dry it out because these things will um, dry out pretty darn quickly. All right, so those are all of the items for my box this month. And the go-to skincare exfoliating swipeys have an MSRP of $35. So let's add everything up. So the total value of my BoxyCharm Premium for the month of October is $201. So I got $201 worth of products for 35 bucks. If you're interested in subscribing to BoxyCharm, I will leave a link down below. And I do have a giveaway going on on my channel right now. I will link that video down below. And please subscribe to my channel so I can keep doing this and uh, drop me a comment, say hi, tell me what you think of this eye look. And um, other than that, have a fabulous day. Sorry, I'm a little flaky today. We're getting ready to go on vacation. Anyway, on this card, it also says save the date. Um, enjoy exclusive members only discounts in our online pop-up. Um, and the online pop-up will be November 10th, and that is a good time to start your holiday shopping, um, which I do do some shopping on there for other people. I do do it. I do do it, do do it. I said do do a lot of times and I liked it. But anyway, um, stay tuned. I will have more videos coming for you soon. And I'm still waiting on my two base boxes. I get two of them because I'm also a Lux subscriber. So I started a second account and that way I can get the Lux every three months also. And um, I do get two base boxes every, um, every month that I don't get Lux. And that's okay. I just stock up on the products. I usually choose a different item so that I know my variation will be different each one. Um, but yeah, stay tuned and I will see you all later. Have a great day and um, do something nice for yourself. Bye.